New tonight, there's some major news for the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance that could pave the way to see more cloned animals in the future. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen is outside the Beckman Center for Conservation Research with the details. Yes, I'm right outside where I got a tour of the frozen zoo and saw the world's first cloned Chevalsky horse and they have a big announcement. Take a look inside San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance's frozen zoo established nearly 50 years ago. And each color is a different individual animal. We have birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians and in each vial is one to three million living cells. Liquid nitrogen at 320 degrees below zero keeps cell samples from more than 10,000 animals frozen to be used to produce stem cells to clone animals. So far they have cloned horses and a black footed ferret. The cells were frozen and used all these years later to create a <laughs> black footed ferret clone that will help bring back genetic diversity. I went on a safari ride to see the world's first cloned Chevalsky's horse, who is alive today thanks to biobanking technology and conservation innovation. His name is Kurt, named after Kurt Bernerschka, creator of the Frozen Zoo. It's important to clone because it's the only way we can bring back an animal that doesn't exist anymore. So Kurt's cell donor has died many, many years ago. It's the only way we could bring his genetics back into the population. Chevalsky horses are an endangered species, yet this cutting edge technology prevents them from going extinct. Well, good afternoon, everyone. And the big announcement, the International Union for Conservation of Nature announced San Diego will be the first center ever to focus exclusively on biobanking in hopes to preserve genetic diversity. I can't imagine a more perfect place to make this announcement for our organization than right here next to the statue of Dr. Kurt Benershka. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8. Very cool. Thanks, Ariana.